No frickin' way. <laughs> this absolutely janky method of doing this thing actually flipping worked. Look at this. It's entirely structural. What the hell? I was entirely anticipating and expecting this to fail. I've never had a JB Weld product ever actually perform in an automotive setting in any way, shape or form at all, period. That is actually very impressive. <laughs> Go and get yourself some of this. Weld a couple of cross braces across here just to kind of hold all this kind of together, give it some structural rigidity to itself. All right, well, let's move on to the next step and do some cross bracing. Get your ears back on. Here we go. Let's get our cross braces cut here. So we can keep the four inch center to center spacing. Gotta get this cut down with a slight bevel on there so it'll be easier to tack weld on to because the pipe is very thin. We don't want to burn through it. And this metal is still brace off mild steel, but I, this is going to take a lot more burning than the pipe will take. So I want to make sure we get a good penetration of weld in there. Any glue, any oil, any sort of coating. You want to get that ground and sanded down as best you can. So that way, your electrode can actually arc and penetrate. The only welder I have working is an arc welder. This is going to be your cheapest option above MIG and definitely above TIG. Pretty user friendly once you kind of get it, the feel of it figured out. But these are meant for heavier steel, not so much as a very light sheet metal type metal. So it's a high risk of burning through. So what we're going to be using is on 110, we're going to be doing 45 amps and we're going to be doing a 1 16th rod. And of course, make sure your outlet can support that kind of amperage. But here's the 1 16th rod. This is meant for mild steel and sheet metal. Time to do the skinny metal side. Now the weld can penetrate much deeper through this piece and into the other.